What's good? This is Marcus Manderson, aka The Fingers, D A F I N G A Z, back with the samplist. And in this video, we're going to talk all about the Cinematic Instruments vertigo series before we get into that be sure to like comment and subscribe and although these plugins were provided by the great team over at cinematic instruments that will not affect our judgment and our review of these plugins and also they have not had a chance to provide any commentary or edits to this video so let's get into it what is cinematic instruments the uh, the vertigo series is a series of instruments from cinematic uh that you can have uh, each instrument has various articulations uh sometimes uh, four plus uh, articulations each articulation would have like sub articulations sometimes between one and six um i've seen one that had six articulations i believe sub articulations um each one has multiple presets they have built-in effects you have built-in tone shaping controls where you can adjust the attack the release the tone um you have like fog and rotary options you have uh, built-in effects like reverb you also have a dice function for randomization you have solo options pan options volume control you you can adjust the interval and tuning options and it's all housed into one main single interface so it's not multiple pages that you have to dig into if you need help there's also a helpful information button on the plugins as well so let's get into each one we're going to start with vertigo violin here this is how it sounds uh, i believe right out the box i'm going to raise the plugin up a little bit so you can see the keyboard at the bottom So let's go over what we have here. We're going to start with the fragile. So right here in, in violin, you have fragile, soul punt, harmonic motion effects, resynthesized. You have all those different articulations there. Um, and uh, you have envelope controls there at the bottom. You have uh, a bonus patch, which, which we'll get to shortly. So with the fragile, we're going to just play uh, this by itself. I'm going to do solo here. Uh, so you have one instrument, or you can have three instruments or four instruments. Uh, this is panned a little bit to the right. You pan it to the left again th the bar indicates the volume level the tuning indicates the interval uh, actually i just moved it the tuning there indicates the interval um from uh the root note so if i bring this down to one and i play c that's c2 if i move it up 12 that's an octave higher so you can hear that there so you can start building chords and things uh with the tuning option there uh we're gonna play the second one which is three players playing here this uh Vertigo violin. So this is three violin players playing that articulation. And then this uh, right here would be four violin players. I'm going to solo that one. And you may hear that might be playing, uh, they might be blowing it a little differently. So what you can do is you can layer all of those. Let me see if I can mute these oh, other ones. Just turn these down. And then we're going to just play the fragile articulation. So that's all three of those layered. Next to that, we have soul punt. You have one player or four players. We're going to just play one player. And you can hear that's up. Uh, it sounds like it's panned slightly to the right, the right there, um, or a lot to the right. And then we have four players over here, which looks like it's panned to the left. I keep accidentally hitting this arrow uh, button. That's me. That's not the, the fault of the plugin. That's the four players playing that articulation. And then this is uh, both of those layered together with the one and four. So great sound there. Next, we will go to the harmonics. So we have one player here. This one's an octave higher, as you can tell by that 12. And then we also have the four players. This is the lower octave. Very airy like. So if you layer those two together. like a glassy tone. Next, we have the motion articulation here in vertical violin. I'm going to play the one player. This is where you have some dynamic motion things happening as you hold down the notes. Like it evolves over time. And we're going to actually, uh, let's see, let's play this one here, the four uh, players. 
sounds really um, uh, beautiful there. Um, and let's layer those two together. So next to that, you have effects. So you can uh, trigger um, a leaping effect, which would be how the bow strikes the uh, string there. You hear that going on. And then we also have the bowed effect, which we'll play here. Just more of the airy. I'll turn that up. So it's like the airiness of the bow there hitting the string. And if we want to layer those... And you can layer any or all of these together. So that's what's also really powerful about this series of plugins. And the great news is also that it is very similar, the layout between all the plugins, uh, except for two of them, which we'll get to shortly. Uh, all right, let's go to resynthesize. So this is where they took the, sh the violin and they resynthesized it with some hardware uh, um, devices and things like that. We're going to do the one uh, FR here. So we still have the violin sound, but it's like through some um, synthy type effects. We have the four SP. And then grain. And we'll go to, uh, let's do, you know what? We'll select the dice here and that just randomizes everything. So this is the sound we have. And what we can do is we can go through the different effects down here. So this will allow you to shape the sound that you have. So you have attack. So if I turn this down, it'll be a fast attack. I have no release. So as soon as I let go of the key, it turns off or stops playing. Uh, one other thing is with the tune here, I want to keep everything maybe the same. I'm, I'm hearing some other, you know, random notes playing um, there. So we're going to do the tune at either 12 or minus 12 or plus 12 with all these. Do dice. Uh, actually, what we'll do, so what we'll do here is we're gonna actually load up a preset. Let's go to dry snow here. This is what that sounds like. And we're gonna go through all of these options over here at the bottom. Um, this is our tone shaping control. So you have envelope, you have your attack and release. So if I have a fast attack, no release. So as soon as I let go of the keys, um, it, the sound goes away. If I bring up the release, as soon as I let go of the key, it just plays out for however long you set the release for. If I bring up the attack, it'll fade in. Really nice natural fade in there. Um, let's bring up a little bit of release. Then we have some tone shaping controls here. So you can shape it down here sounds you know a little bit more mids there and up here is a little bit more highs so it's almost like an eq then we have this option which i believe is like a fog type uh, mo uh mode uh almost like a rotary phaser type deal uh like a leslie uh and then next we have tape machine It sounds like a tape delay, so it's, it's a delay. Um, it looks like a little real tape, so maybe real tape delay. And then last but not least, we have reverb, and you have different options. If you click where it says church, you have these options of reverb here. So you have wood, room, chamber. Let's go to hall, and we'll turn that up. Turn it down. Hear how it's really narrow. And then last but not least, we have our main volume control here. You can turn that all the way down. You won't hear anything if we turn it up. And you can also have this MW selected. So you see it selected there. And the mod wheel will actually adjust both the uh, tone and the volume at the same time. So here is the mod all the way down and all the way up. So you can shape it as needed. Uh, if you move your tone wheel, so let's say I want the tone wheel over here or the uh, EQ um, or tone option over here now when i adjust the mod wheel it will be centered around the range where i set the uh or where you set that knob so you have so many options i'll play one more preset here but we have a lot more we have five more of these to go through uh this is the beginning uh what's cool there is you have some sevens there you can see sort of the scale uh and you have a tenth right there with the resynthesize you have a fourth going on with the leap
yeah, so many options. Uh, so I'm going to mute that. We also have a bonus patch in the Vertigo Violin series, a uh, portamento patch. And with this, you just have the tone shaping there, and you also have the uh, reverb there. I'm going to play this out the box. Uh, you have that slide option. And this tells you what your mod mill can do. You can read more about that when you purchase the plugin. <laughs> so I'm going to bring the mod mill down. Bring it up. You see it's adding uh, some more players. And I believe it'll cycle between 1, 4, and 8 voices. So 1, 4, 8 players. And it's a fifth portamento. So you probably want to just play... Uh, fifths or fourths. Uh, and the colors are indicated here. You have regular, you have down, and then you have up. So um, you have different ranges, regular, down. So if I play the C2, Uh, if I play the C3 or the yellow, the three um, octave here, that's going down. And then the red or orange or whatever color looks like to you, that's going up. Uh, yeah, so we spent a lot of time in this plugin, but the great news, like I said, is it is very comparable to the, to the others, except for viola viola is a little different as you can tell um with the violin we have sort of the bars going up here and the names at the top with viola we have the bars going up still similar but the names are at the bottom and with vertigo viola you have single arco you have the gamba harmonic soul punt you have motion um you have some synthesized things going on you have the bow here we'll talk a little bit about those here uh in a second so vertigo viola so with vertigo viola you have six art articulations you have the single um arco which is like four solo uh bowed violas you have the solo uh, uh viola or you can have it as a quartet with the four different velocity layers um the viola da gamba here um gives you that uh, sort of fragile um, sound of the lower range, the full lower range of the viola. Then you have the sol punt, harmonic sol punt, which is the higher overtones of the viola. You have some motion things that are similar to what we saw in violin, where you have some dynamic variations. Um, you have some different bowing motions and uh, spiccato uh, overlays and things like that that can be played at different speeds. Um, and you can select the speed here of how those spiccatos are played and overlaid on the motion. Then we have our frozen viola, uh, which can also be layered with sort of like a synthesized uh, source with a JX knob there. Then we have some bowed options with two isolated atonal bow sounds. You have your volume control, uh, your mod wheel, which will also affect your tone controls down here. You also have your attack, your length, your tone, uh, the fog option there, the retro sort of tape delay type thing, and then the nine reverbs um, here. So you have a little bit more reverbs than in violin, uh, and you select that there. You have the reset option, which will reset all the settings, and then you have the dice, which will um, randomize all the settings there. Then you have your presets. So you have a number of presets here you can choose from. Uh, you also have this plus option. If you click that, it'll open up more options that you can select here, um, and you can get more information there. Uh, you can also lock certain controls. So here are your tone intervals for um, that were selected randomly there. If I want to lock those, when I hit lock and now when I hit the dice, those tones will, uh, those intervals will stay the same. If I unlock it, you see those numbers can change. Um, so we're going to load up. Let's say we'll load up the snow melt preset. Let's hear how that sounds. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and again, uh, if you see those arrows there, that tells you that there is an interval for that articulation. So these three here, um, this one's up an octave, this one's up seven tones, this one's up uh, 12. And this will tell you the uh, pan, I believe, of the note there. Uh, so let me hit the minus and then we will play through the sound. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just go through um, each one of these uh, separate. So this is single. And we'll just add the different layers. So you can layer all four of those if you like. We'll go to the Gamba. Remember, that's the lower range, the Sol Pont. more of the glassy tones then we have our sort of motion uh, evolution thing going on here and let's say i want this on ace 
So you have that sort of almost uh, similar to that leap function that we saw in the violin. Then we have our frozen. And we can layer that with more synthesized stuff. And that one is uh, tuned down as you heard. And then we have bow. So we will go to a uh, vertical preset here. Actually, we'll bring up our Arco. I think those you hear the most. Um, um, so what we can do with the settings down here is if you click and drag up or down, you see the edited function goes there. I can, let's say we want to take off the attack. I want to drag down. We lower the attack if you want to increase the release. And you can again adjust the tone. EQ there. So you can dial in the shape and the tone of the viola. Uh, if I want to engage the mod wheel, I'll just select that option again, um, and I can move the mod wheel to adjust the tone and volume. So that is Vertigo viola next we have the vertigo cello again very similar to what we saw in the violin you have the regular special motions leap recent bow i'm not going to go through all the different settings um other than you do have some different articulations here uh you can read up more about that uh when you purchase the plugin uh so let's go through some presets we're going to go through uh the woven silk go to Adagio, which I'm imagining will be slow. Uh, and you have some sevenths going on, so it might sound a little weird to you. Play solo. I'm going to play one note. Um, we won't play that whole thing. Um, and we'll do one more for you. Open stack. Uh, we have a lot of reverb going on it's infinite uh, so you have your reverb settings there but again very similar to what you saw in the other uh, vertigo violin plugin uh, one thing we haven't gone over yet is the I button what the I button does is it gives you more info so if you need help uh, navigating around the plugin um, you can hit the I button and it'll tell you what these certain options and buttons are um, again you have your attack your length your uh, tone uh, sort of EQ your rotary type thing your tape delay type thing your reverb and your modulation wheel again um, volume main volume control that is tied into your tone EQ option there Uh, and with this, uh, like the violin, we also have a cello portamento. So we're going to play through uh, that uh, where you have the reverb and your sort of EQ going on. And you have these different ranges. Uh, you have three ranges here. So we're going to start with the C2. We have C3. Again, fifth portamento going down. And moving the mod wheel will navigate between one uh, and four voices. And then the top will be the up, the portamento up. And the C5 um, here, see it sounds like it has them all. So that's going up. And that sounds like it's playing all of them, so that's kind of cool. All right, uh, let's go to our overall vertical string. So this is all the strings. So you have those sections that we went over, but now we have the violin, viola, cello, bass. We have bowed, we have ensemble, we have our effects. Um, with these, we have different articulations, uh, sub-articulations, I like to call them. You have your intervals again, um, you have your effects. Instead of the graphics though, you have your uh, words written out. So you have a, a attack, decay, tone, fog, retro, reverb, and main. Let's play through what it sounds like out the box. I really like that sound. Um, we will go through these uh, one by one. So let's play violin three players, I believe that is. Uh, we'll turn this up.
Then we have three Arco. Um, that is really expressive. Expressive. We have raw. Harmonics octave higher. Then we have our viola arco. Um, that sounds really nice. Three layers cello. Three, I think that's harmonics there, cello. And we have raw bass. And raw arco. Then we have some bowed guitar uh, options here. I'll turn off, actually, I, I, did, I just realized bow was layered with all those. We have this bowed sound there. Uh, then we have ensemble uh, options here. With the ensembles, you have a JX3P patch, you have some Zillowet string resamples, um, you have some tape machines, uh, recorded patches, you have some harmonium patches uh, there. So we're going to play through those articulations. Uh, very nice layer under strings that will sound like. Uh, then we have the Zillowet. Tape stuff. Harmonium. And then you had the bowed, which I actually accidentally left on uh, through some of the earlier presets, but that's that. And then, of course, you have your reset where everything is set to zero and then your randomized dice. You can get some really eerie tones there and then a uh, number of presets. So let's go to Orion. Then we'll go to Deep Dark. Uh, and again, you have your attack decay tone. Um, you have a number of reverbs here. Uh, doesn't look like I'm getting the drop down menu like I got from the other one. So you have to click through to navigate. Um, but it's only a select few, so you can click through if you want to dial in like the room reverb. Uh, with the modulation wheel again, um, the tone and the main are connected. So again, similar concepts applied across different plugins. All right, so next we have the Fertigo Flute, and we're just going to go over these. We have regular, fragile, taped, avant-garde, resampled, blowing. Uh, we have one and three players there. You see you have one or four players there, one or four players there. You have different movement options on the avant-garde. So we're just going to go over some of these. We're going to just do reset, and we're going to play these one by one. Here is our regular. Again, remember you have solo pan volume, uh, your interval, you can lock the interval. I didn't mention that in some of the other options. If you want, you can lock the interval. So let's say I want this to be one octave. Now, whenever I hit the dice, that will always stay at 12. Um, so if you want to lock those settings for those different um, intervals, for those different sounds and articulations, you can do that. Um, we'll go to the B regular option here. Then we have six flute players. We have a fragile articulation. I'm just moving the mod wheel. Four players. The uh, taped. Uh, that's one player. This is four players. Then we have our avant-garde articulation, so a couple movements. I'm just going to play one note so you can hear what's happening. So you literally hear the player uh, the mouth there doing all those different things and you have movement three then we have i believe flutter four players doing a flutter then we have a distorted distortion uh distorted distortion distortion 
So you hear some of that grainy stuff. Let me hold down one note. I think I heard it bending up a little bit. Kind of cool that we have some resampled. We have the vocal. I really like that one. We have the pan. Turn that down. I might have blew your ears away. We have this pit. Really dark sounding. Then we have uh, some blow techniques. I believe this is just the air going through the flute. You have one in three players there. And of course you can choose mix and match as many of those as you want. You could hit your dice option. So we'll go to early snow preset here and we'll adjust the attack here all the way down. We'll take out some of those delay options right now. And have a shorter thing, turn the volume down. So you can just shape the tones you want. If you want to use it more like a synth. Um. Um, yeah, uh, and then you have your EQ sort of settings here. You hear the difference there. Then again, the rotary, phaser type deal, um, tape delay. I believe that's called the retro and then we have our reverb and then our options there uh then modulation wheel of course can adjust the tone the eq thing and the volume at the same time And last but not least, probably the one that looks the most different is vertical glass and iron. Uh, similar, you know, you have four articulations here and those different sub instruments and articulations and things. Uh, but the, it's the lighter one. You have the sort of dirty white uh, thing going on here. Um, use glass and iron. So you have our rubbed articulations, bowed articulations. You have struck instruments. Uh, you have special sort of things there. Um, glass bowls, uh, vibraphones, different types of mallets and metal things being hit. Um, we're going to just go over these one by one. So we're going to hit reset here. We're going to go over starting with the rubbed uh, glass one I believe so you can just start to build your own sort of glass type sound I think we have some delay going on there uh, then we have a bowl then we go through some of the bowed uh, options And again, you have your interval option. So if I want to drop that down, you can have all that settings going on. Then we have a uh, gamelan. Then we have different striking options uh, where the instrument was struck. That sounds like it's moving, so I'm going to hold one note uh, here. So maybe hold some of those out, those movement ones, and see what happens. Uh, this is just striking these things uh, with different uh, mallets, I believe. Then we have a bell. Great sounds. And then we have some special things happening here. Let's hear this. that one. 
finally this one. Then again, you have your reset options, you have your randomize. And we have a uh, number of presets. And again, the settings that we've seen in all the other ones, attack, length, and you can also turn that on, on or off if you want. A lot of times you want to leave it on to, to shape the sound. Then you have your EQ, EQ slash tone. Then we have this, uh, almost like phaser course thing. Then we have our tape, tapeish delay retro option. And again, our reverb, uh, Slash echo delay. Uh, so let's like, go to church. And then it all goes to your main mixer here, which you can turn the mod wheel on or off. And that will tie in with your tone knob here or your EQ. All right. So that was a lot. That's all six of the instruments um, in the Vertigo series um, that we have to review for you. What I'm going to do now is jump over to a demo created using only the cinematic Vertigo instrument. So let's jump over. All right, so what do we have? That was just a quick piece I created using only cinematic vertigo. We're gonna start with the violin. Actually, I start with glass and iron. Let me move that up. We started with the glass and iron and I sort of bring in the other elements a little bit um, as we get into the track. So we're gonna start with glass and iron. I had to pl this playing the first half of the track and just playing um, a B flat minor uh, sort of uh, progression here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, that's a preset called Hide and Seek. I think I tweaked some of the effects and things here, maybe some settings there. Um, but yeah, straight out the box. A lot of these will be presets that I've just chosen out the box and maybe did some minor tweaks. Um, this is the vertical violin, which comes in uh, sort of the second half of the intro there. It's a really washed out reverby. As you see, pretty much everything across the board is in there except for the effects. Um, I probably would turn down the reverb a little bit here um, in the track just uh, since we had a little delay and stuff going on and we have some of the other elements. But yeah, it's really just playing that same progression uh, in a lot of these tracks. So the viola here is actually what I chose to be the um, one of the solo instruments, um, the sort of the feature at the intro here. And this is playing this line. Um, yeah, so that plays throughout. Uh, I might even turn up the reverb a little bit there. Um, and I was doing some mod wheel volume automation, but that's basically the noir preset. Maybe tweak some settings down here. The next we have cello. I just needed something to sort of bring in some of that low end. So cello comes in again about three quarters of the way through the intro um, with some of those low notes.
and it just plays you know those one notes um i use a play solo preset and again tweak some settings um i think i moved this down to octave i don't think that was set to minus 12 um but yeah just to have a little bit low end included there um and again maybe tweak to some settings here and there modulation wheel volume automation things like that then we have vertical strings so even though i had the string section violin viola cello there um I added the vertical strings, so I wanted to use more of the synth side of the strings because I already had the strings here. Um, and I found this Trans Europa preset here. Uh, again, tweaked a few settings, and this is what we have on the second half of the track. So very airy, uh, almost soul ponty, a um, little bit of synthy mixed with you know the strings. So um, that's what I had going on there. And then last but not least, um, I had this flute, which is sort of like the feature solo instrument at the end of the track, coming in uh, the second half, um, playing um, the custom preset. So I didn't really do much as far as tweaking uh, or as far as using a preset here. Um, I just dialed in some stuff, and I think I hit the dice button and then found some options and then moved this down an octave uh, and played with some settings and this is what we have for the vertical flute and there's like some fluttering things happening a little bit on the uh uh built into that sound maybe from the movement but i really like the sound um and the track in general hearing it back actually sounds like it's something that can be for like a video game or thinking of you know where i can put this thing um uh to use uh, maybe some type of video game or or uh you know a level where you're just walking around the world um trying to figure out what to do uh who knows but uh, uh overall um uh, let's let's finish this thing uh vertical cinematic instruments um vertigo series i really like it um if there's anything that i would change um i would like a little i think that one's fine there is one i think it's the viola um if this was a little bit more aligned as far as the setup with the other instruments i don't know if this was the first instrument in the vertical series or if this was um you know the newer one and they're trying something new but if it was just similar just to get familiar i was familiar with this you know the the bars going up and the, the instruments listed um this is the one that's a little different so if this was a little bit more aligned graphically but as far as sound i'm um, good to go uh but um and it's really just a minor minor thing i really like the layout again once you know one of the plugins you sort of know all of them um i like the uh the differentiation with the glass and iron i really like the the light um uh, a great option would be if i could choose between light and dark with all these plugins um again this is just all personal preferences it has nothing to do with the sound the sound of them are all great um uh where i could see myself using these again uh uh, trailer stuff, ambient stuff, um, video games. If I get a video game from this, great. I um, uh, would love to have this in a video game. So anyone working in video games, feel free to call us up. Uh, but yeah, really can use this anywhere. Um, ambient stuff, layered uh, and orchestral stuff, layered uh, with synth stuff, um, just piano and this stuff uh, would be great. So there's so many options for this. Again, shout out to Cinematic Instruments for providing this to us over here at the sample list at no charge for your review. Uh, for pricing, the most of them are 75 euros pounds whatever that icon means um you can get the strings the the full strings ensemble one for 90 euros pounds the flute you can get for 65 um the other ones are 75 um maybe you can catch a great deal a great sale um uh, throughout the year but shout out to cinematic instruments for uh giving this to us at no charge for your review be sure to like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video all right all right peace